What's up, you quarantiner wieners? Today, we're gonna be casting a live action Hercules movie that was just announced to be, I think it's produced by the Russo brothers who gave me some of my favorite MCU films and now they're doing one of my absolute favorite Disney films. So, I'm gonna help them out here. Oh yeah, 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 this video is sponsored by a Bolt House Farm. It's not. It's not at all. I just enjoy the uh, fruit juice. So, let's get into it. We're going to start with... Alright. I have... Three choices. Uh, with my castings, I tried to think outside of the box and not pick actors we've seen very recently or that's in everything but sometimes that's just the obvious choice you know what I mean so for my first choice I chose Sam Huntington uh, he was in one of my favorite TV shows called being human I really like the way that he uh, can express his range of emotions on his face and throughout his acting I think he would really nail the role I don't know if he can sing though I don't know <laughs> excuse me but the next two guys can definitely sing I've heard him <laughs> You're gross. What are you doing, bro? But um, my second choice is KJ Appa. You might know him as Archie from Riverdale. Do carry the TV show. A movie is not far off from carrying a TV show. You know what I mean? He can sing, and boy got the physique for it. I'm not even going front. It's, it's just a well-known secret now. If you watch all four seasons, his shirt's off every friggin' episode. But my third choice is Mr. Zac Efron. That one makes a hell of a lot of sense. We know he can sing from multiple movies, such as the High School Musical movies, except that first one. But the other two, and Greatest Showman, he can sing. We know he can be comedic, as from like Baywatch and Neighbors and, I think it was on like 17 again. But Zac Efron is Zac Efron, and I think he would be very good in the role as Hercules. Who would be my main choice? Find out at the end, ha ha ha. You thought I was gonna give it to you right now. This is foreplay, baby. Where is this one? Looks like we're gonna cast Philip next. Now, in a perfect world, they bring Danny DeVito back. Do we live in a perfect world? No, we don't. But Danny DeVito's still my top choice. And I got two backups. My first one is Bill Hader, who's been in a whole array of movies where he's had to express himself in different ways whether it was it chapter two where it's like horror and he has to be scared a lot but you know try to be strong comedies he's known for his comedies but he's also been in serious movies so i think he would be a good phil um in a sense where phil is a dreamer and he goes through a whole bunch of range of emotions especially if they continue what they do with these live action movies where they add depth to certain characters I think Phil could be one of those especially since he has to train all these other heroes that came before Hercules and then just see them go you know like let's see how that would wean or wane or weigh that's the word weigh on someone who's put their on to these people just to see them not go the distance uh, my backup for Bill Hader is Mark Hamill that's right Luke Skywalker the Joker himself I think he'd be great in the role as someone who's like a mentor um, and and could really give you speeches or you know moments of clarity when Hercules isn't feeling sure about himself or you know that turning point where he's trying to tell Herc that Meg is playing him I think Mark Hamill would be able to bring that scene to life and both all three of these guys like let's exclude Danny let's exclude Danny because he's already done it but the other two guys Bill Hader and Mark Hamill I think they would be able to make the character their own and bring like a different side to him to life and i'd be really excited to see them do it and they're neither one of them are strangers to voiceover work so it's pretty much a knockout for me with either one of those guys Woo. that was my singing voice let's cast meg uh i keep seeing people say ariana grande and No, no, you guys sing her, you guys see her sing a sing-along version of Won't Say I'm In Love and then automatically she's just the only person that can play Meg. Ariana can't act. 
and I probably just offended a, a whole bunch of people, but she, she she wasn't the best part of Victorious. I didn't watch Sam and Cat, and I don't think she's been in anything other than those two things. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but she does not have the sass. She doesn't have the the acting range. Like, Meg been through some shit, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't think Ariana could convey that as an actress personally. Can she sing? Yeah, she can sing. But, like, you need more than a singer for Meg. Um, you need someone who's able to bring across the sass. Um, Meg is someone who's been through something very hurtful. And she hides that from the world. But she lets one person break that wall down and get in and discover who she really is. Behind all of her hurt and her sass and all of her, you know, Magnus. So, I have a couple choices for this one. If they go older and they want to stick with Sam, I think Mary Elizabeth Winstead would be really good. Uh, she played Ramona Flowers and Scott Pilgrim, who was basically Meg. You know, someone who's running away from the past, but it just keeps catching up with her and grabbing her by the horns and making her uh, the past's bitch. I didn't say she's a bitch. I said she's the past bitch because she can't let it go and she can't outrun it. But I think she would be very good. And she also has that sass factor um, that Meg needs. Uh, if they went younger with either KJ or Zach, I think Zendaya would be a very good um, Meg. And if not her, I think her name is Elizabeth Gillies. Um, both of them, fantastic. Who's my choice? You know how this goes. You gotta wait till the end, my girl. Or boy. Or non-binary. Or let's get to the next one. All right, so now we'll tackle Herc's daddy, Zeus. And I have one choice for Zeus. First of all, moment of silence. For Rip Torn, who played Zeus very well on the animated feature. But my only choice, my only choice for this uh, live action film for uh, Zeus is Jeff Bridges. It's the dude, my I'm, I'm your dad. King of the Gods. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, when Hercules is like, oh, where did Pegasus come from? And he <laughs> seems to be like, I built this in a cave with a box of scraps. Jeff Bridges. There's no backups. Okay. Now we've come to the muses, who are the backbone of this film, as the narrators and the dope-ass uh, expository characters. So, I've, I've, I've made so many lists trying to figure out who can play the muses, because um, you need you need people who can carry tunes. You know what I mean? And like I said, hopefully they continue the running thing where they add more depth to characters who knows i don't know i don't uh but i i think i finally came up with a good list and there's five muses so let's knock them down one by one the first one beyonce psych don't put her anywhere near this film please she messed up lion king for me so we're back at five right i believe her name is amber riley I didn't know much about this woman until I saw the Disney sing-along and she sang Let It Go. And then Dia here told me that she was on a show called Glee, which she was really good in. And then I looked up her singing and I was like, wow, she's a powerhouse. So let's put Amber Riley in there. Wait, I have to look at my list. Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet is such a sweetheart and very good voice, very, and she acts. So, you know, that's also, ooh. There's Amber, careful, idiot. But like, I think Janelle would be a very good muse uh, to compliment the other people's voices. Um, I went out of the box here and I said, uh, wait, where am I? SZA. I think SZA is a very soulful voice out currently and I think she would be a very good uh, muse. We got two more people. And I didn't choose Jennifer Hudson. A lot of other people chose Jennifer Hudson, but not me, not your boy, not me. I chose 
Doja Cat, though, that probably turned a bunch of faces. But I think Doja Cat it has a very cute little fun personality that could come across as, like, the comedic muse. Or, um, you know, she could probably stand out and be the one that you like the most. I also really like her voice. Um, if these women got together and did, like, a like a group track for the album, I think that would be very cool. If not, you know, just think about the soundtrack later. I'm pretty sure they'll do something. But I think Doja Cat would be able to do it. Has she ever acted? Not that I know of. Up until the other day, I thought that Doja Cat was Cheryl's girlfriend on Riverdale. It's not her. So, I don't know. But this is my fantasy casting. Not yours. And the last person that I chose is... I'm gonna replace her. Oh, snap. There's no one called an audible. I don't know her name, but I'll put it right here somewhere probably. But it's the it's the young, lovely lady from uh, Bad Times at the El Royale. I, I can't remember her name, but she has a beautiful singing voice. And I think she would mesh well with the rest of the voices here. And I think all five of these ladies put together would be able to be fantastic muses, the backbone of the story, the great narrators that they are. And when it comes to like A Star Is Born or Gospel Truth 1 and 2, um, Zero to Hero, I think all of them would just kill it. Uh, a runner up, I thought Erica Badu would be really cool to have like a, like a funk type of like soul voice to it. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know who you would take her take out for. Maybe Doja? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The muses are important and they sing very well. So you need someone who can sing very well. But I also think it would be a nice opportunity to tap into different types of music. Of the, like, they, they did gospel in the original animated. Why don't you do, like, R&B? You can do some hip hop. Why not? I don't care. I don't care. It's my fantasy casting. Take a swig. And then we'll cast the next people. Ah, but first, a word from our sponsors. Yo mama! So we've done it. We made it to Hades. It's like, nah, we're gonna be Pain and Panic right now. Uh, Pain and Panic, along with Hades, were my favorite two roles to cast, though. Uh, for Pain and Panic, you need uh, a duo that are no strangers to each other, that can be able to bounce off of each other comedic wise and have great timing and be natural at it. So I have a few choices. Uh, I, I've heard Key and Peele. I think Key and Peele would be fantastic. I personally like James Franco and Seth Rogen. Uh, Eric Andre and Hannibal Burris. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Um, it's one of them. I think all of them have proven uh, time after time that they work well together, and I think they would be hilarious as Pain and Panic, along with the person, like paired up with the person that I made for, that I picked for, I can't speak, but Hades. Um, drum roll, please. All right, we're gonna do Hades. Leave a, leave a comment in this comment section saying thanks to you for the drum roll. That was bad. <laughs> but let's cast Hades. Hades, uh, who is <laughs> clearly the standout of the movie, the way that James Woods did him in the uh, animated film. Uh, so, like I said, with Phil in a perfect world, they will bring back James Woods. But I think we can do better nowadays. I know, sacrilege, pardon me for saying it, but... <laughs> I have, uh, we're gonna have this list that I wrote. I have two runner ups for Mr. Hades, Lord of the Underworld himself, and then I have an absolute top choice. Uh, so, the first runner up is Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell is hilarious to me, uh, from his roles in The Sitter to Iron Man 2. Everything that I see him in, he's hilarious, but he also has like that switch that he can turn on and off where he's just crazy or when he's serious or when he's menacing. Uh, he can be serious as well, like real serious as we saw in Jojo Rabbit, or he can be kind of kooky as we've seen in 
Galaxy Quest. I think Sam Rockwell would bring him to life in his own way. Uh, my second runner-up is Jim Carrey. Jim, I don't think I need to defend Jim Carrey in a role like Hades. Man transforms his face and voice to do amazing things. This could be an opportunity such as Robotnik was recently for him, where 90s Jim could come back out and just be hilarious. Just imagine the mask mixed with Hades. Hilarious. Hilarious. Stand out of the movie. The, snatch it right from... Ha! Huh? I almost said... <laughs> I almost said my, my Hercules, but we, we ain't there yet. So, I think he'd be good. But... 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 My top choice is Glenn Howerton. You, you may not know the name just off the rip, but if you've ever seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, he plays uh, Dennis. If you ever seen AP Biology, he plays the, the teacher in AP Biology. I can't remember his name off of that right now, but Dennis is essentially Hades. He's an asshole that runs around demanding people to do his bidding. He gets mad about the funniest things or the dumbest things. He thinks so highly of himself that he's untouchable and he, he's an asshole. But you know what? We root for him for some reason and we like him and we know it's wrong. But we're just like, what? The, what's Dennis slash Hades going to do this time? And if you put him in the role, you just made a billion dollars opening day. You know why? Because I'm going to go rob a bank and I'm going to give you a billion dollars first day. Because you listen to me. Just save some of that money for bail because I'm going to need it. I just got nervous thinking about jail, bro. I ain't gonna know. <laughs> hey, man. What'd you get locked up for? I said I was gonna rob a bank on YouTube. That's not how I'm going out, B. Now with my strawberry banana juice. Okay. We reached the end. Let's do a wrap up here. For Hercules, my top choice is KJ Appa. It was, it's this close to being Zac Efron. But I, like I said, I don't want to choose the typical or the obvious answer and I think KJ has room in Hollywood to become a bigger name. Zach's already been at his peak or he is at his peak right now but you know if if I had a runner up it's Zach but my number one choice is KJ. For uh, Meg it's Zendaya. Once again it's a choice that's basically thrown at you but she's really good. I don't care. I like Zendaya. Let her be Meg. You want to fight? That what you want to do, baby? What you want to do? Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill will be great. Great in the room. But Bill Hader would be a very good uh, backup. Um, for the muses, Amber Riley, her, SZA, Doja, Janelle. Boom. There's your muses. Uh, Zeus is Jeff Bridges, man. That's who it is. Hades, Glenn Howerton, Pain and Panic, Hannibal Burris, and Eric Andre. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Do me a favor, leave a like and a comment. Uh, subscribe, click that little bell. Apparently that's what other YouTubers tell people to do. Share this around with your friends. Let me know down in the comments who you would cast at certain roles. Let me know if I was wrong in any of my casting. I don't think so. I don't think so. But let me know. Uh, share this to your favorite Disney-loving friend. And uh, have a good day.